Looking to maximize your golfing potential? Learn how from one of the world's best golf instructors. Join today at WDGLC.com. Hey there, everybody. It's Wayne Francesco, and thanks for visiting the website, WayneDFrancesco.com. Here on the screen, we've got Ken Venturi, recently selected for the Hall of Fame. Venturi was one of the great amateurs of all time before he turned pro in 1957. He finished second in the Masters in 1956 as an amateur. Would have been the only amateur to win the Masters, but he shot 80 in the win the last day and lost by a shot to Jack Burke Jr. Now, got two swings here, and they are both Venturi for sure, but they are very different. So, I'm not positive, but my guess is the, the one on the right here is earlier. It looks a little thinner. You can see that the posture is a little different, much, much, much more erect. Now, I was trying to figure out which one of these swings that Venturi used to win the 64 Open. And... I got a swing off of that, uh, off the 18th hole. I'll show you that in a second. And uh, what it appears is that the one on the left here is his a later version of his swing, and the one on the right might be a little earlier. Now, if I had to choose one, kind of like this one, more conventional takeaway, pretty much up the plane, club face a little bit on the shut side, but then. What he does after that is pretty much exactly what I like and what I teach. Uh, very reminiscent of, uh, of Hogan in the way the right arm works and folds. And then if you look, beautiful wrist position. Really like that cup left wrist. Nice level elbows. You can see his right leg flexing. Quite a bit of compression into the ground. And take a look at the way the, the hands travel in transition. You can see the ball is probably down there. Watch that shaft shallow there. Just love that. You can see the left knee disappear. That left arm parallel. You can see the shaft stay above the forearm. And watch this left release here. That's got to be one of the great swings that I've got amongst all these swings that I compile. Love this swing. Now, check the one out on the left here. Now, I would love to ask Ken possessed him to pull the club across his body so far like that. Learn the Pivot Compression Golf Swing. Join WDGLC.com today. And then essentially do the same thing with the club on the way through. But you can see the way this, the, the depth of the hand movement in there, and the way the left arm is way across the chest, look at the depth of that right arm, completely different from from this takeaway here. So I was trying to figure out, I wonder which one of these swings he used to win the Open. Now, he turned pro in 57, and between 57, 89, and 60, he won 10 events and was really one of the best players on the planet. Now, here's that swing of his on an 18. Got a four shot lead. 
and you can see where this ball goes. It's it's way over to the right. So he hit it. He ended up hitting it in the right bunker. Must have drawn a little bit. So he hits it in the right bunker, splashes it out, and makes the putt. But if we watch the swing. You can see that the right arm is definitely deep. Maybe not quite as deep as that one swing, but much closer. So in other words, that swing is much closer to this one. than it is to this one. So, now this is a pattern that you see with a lot of guys, uh, even this in, in this era, the, the deep inward movement in the takeaway, the out move with the shaft tilting back, and then the the hard left release so no chasing it down the line for Ken Venturi there I was thinking about what it who would look kinda like that today so I was sort of fishing around in my swings and I thought about thought about Matt Kuchar Maybe there's one swing here, here we go so check, check Kuchar out Kuchar swings a lot longer, but as you can see, if you look at the arm position, pretty darn close. And then if you look at his hands come back out at the ball. Now, Kuchar doesn't release quite as far left as Venturi, but I thought that was strikingly, strikingly similar. So I really like the in and over move. And of course, Kuchar is one of the most consistent guys out on the tour. We go back and look at that right arm movement. There's a really nice looking swing of Hogan there. Pretty cool stuff. So, pretty easy to see how Venturi was such a great ball striker and, and a great player. He ended up with carpal tunnel syndrome in both of his wrists and only won one tournament after 64 after he won the Open and ended up retiring. And of course, if you grew up watching golf on television, you know that Venturi was the man in the booth for about 35 years or so.
This is from a Challenge Golf, and, and these were filmed in the in the early 60s as well. So, again, Venturi in his prime. Now, one thing one thing you'll see from this front view, and this is something that I emphasize with people all the time, is watch how the watch how the hands stay stretched away from the body in transition as the as the movement starts forward from the ground. So a couple things to note here, you see this nice nice flat curve of the left side. And you see this left arm nice and stretched out. So what I always emphasize there is that right wrist, when the wrist cocked, the right wrist is pushing into the left thumb. And the feeling is that as you drive off the ground and get all this moving over this way, that the feeling is to continue to push out with the club cocked back. So the club is bent back. And of course you can see when you see that elbow action at the top of the swing, you can see the result here. So there's the upper right arm fully in front of the body and you can see it in here. And these are things I really like in any golf swing and it's the kind of stuff that I would be teaching. So. There you have it. One of my favorite swings is Ken Venturi.